Welcome to our new video. This is the Philips OneBlade Pro Face and Body QP 6650. We tested this shaver for you and you will find out everything you need to know in this video. So just stay tuned. Let's go with the Philips OneBlade Pro Face and Body. Before we get to the practical test, we'll first give you an overview of the product in our Features and Technology section. The OneBlade Pro Face and Body is basically a universal shaving tool. This means that you can shave and trim with the device on not only the face, but your body as well. Compared to the last OneBlade Pro we reviewed, the range of applications has been extended to include body grooming, meaning the removal of body hair. There have also been some visual changes compared to the last Pro, including the color and shape of the device. However, you have to be a little careful with the product's name. There's a risk of confusion here, as the model numbers are quite similar. QP6520 was the name of the device last time. The face and body that we tested for this video, on the other hand, is called QP6650. Apart from that, the devices are quite similar to each other. For example, this can be seen in the technology used. The shaving head, for instance, stayed the same. This means that the face and body versions have the same blade system and work with a blade that moves 200 times a minute. However, in order to provide a safe appliance without the risk of injury, Philips relies on a double protection system consisting of a friction-free coating and rounded blade edges. Remo will report on the actual risk of injury later in the practical test. The cutting range of the OneBlade Pro face and body goes up to 10 millimeters and can be adjusted in up to 14 length settings, which is made possible by the precision comb attachment. It can also be used for both dry and wet shaving. As the device is also waterproof in accordance with the IPX7 standard, it can also be used while showering. As far as the battery is concerned, the QP6650 comes with a lithium ion battery. According to the manufacturer, it takes approximately one hour to fully charge. A full charge then offers a runtime of two hours. Compared to other shavers or beard trimmers that we reviewed, this is a very good value. In addition, the face and body version of the Pro model also offers a digital battery indicator that provides some information about the charge level of the device as a percentage. There is also a low battery indicator. If you only have 5% left, the battery symbol flashes. This gives you a good overview of the device's charge level at all times. Unfortunately, there is no mains operation. Accordingly, the OneBlade Pro will not work when it is in charging mode. However, this does not seem to be that unusual. For example, all the waterproof shavers we have tested have skipped this feature. This is probably for safety reasons. By the way, you can find the link to the OneBlade Pro below the video in the description. And if the video was helpful to you, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We then took a closer look at the Pro in terms of operation and use. There's nothing to complain about in terms of workmanship. All parts fit together well and make a good impression. In addition, the device has an ergonomic design with a non-slip rubber coating on the back, which means it fits comfortably and securely in the hand. Moreover, as it is the case with all OneBlade devices, they weigh very little. Of course, this also applies to the face and body version of the Pro, which at 115 grams is one of the lightest devices compared to many other beard trimmers or shavers we reviewed. In addition, if you ever want to adjust the length setting, it is very easy to do. Simply attach the precision comb attachment and set the desired length using the dial. In general, all comb attachments can be easily attached or removed from the blade without much fiddling. A click sound indicates that it is in place. All in all, these points make the OneBlade Pro quite easy to handle. We didn't really have anything to complain about here. Accordingly, the device can basically be guided well when working. The only difficulty a OneBlade typically has is when working in angled areas such as the chin or under the nose. This is probably due to the rigid blade, which is similar to a classic wet shaver in design. A blade of this type does not enclose contours such as the chin quite as well. If you compare the OneBlade Pro with other electric shavers that have more adaptable blades or shaving head, it can't quite keep up when it comes to difficult areas. With a little practice, however, you will get used to it and you'll be able to handle the OneBlade Pro well. When it comes to comfort, we also have to talk about the sound and its volume. After all, you work on your face and thus close to your ears with such devices. At around 59 decibels, the QP6650 definitely delivers a good result. If you compare the volume with electric shavers, for example, the Pro can certainly keep up and is one of the quieter devices. The sound also seems full and round to us and is not interfered by unpleasant frequencies. Overall, this is quite decent. Before we move on to the core of our review, meaning shaving and trimming, we would first like to see what Remo has to say. He put the pro to the test for us in everyday use and would like to share his impression about the feeling of safety with us. When I saw this blade for the first time, I thought, 
Hmm, it's really sharp and seems unprotected. Surely I'll cut myself with it. Accordingly, I was careful while shaving myself, but I simply had to learn that nothing would happen. Somehow Phillips has managed to design a blade that is as sharp as it is safe. So you don't cut anything here, except your hair. A high sense of security is a good start, but what about skin irritation? The device also delivers good results in this area. Admittedly, we have already tested one or two other electric shavers that were less irritating on the skin. On the other hand, the Pro can cause some skin irritation after several strokes. However, this is still perfectly acceptable. We are complaining at a high level in this case. So far so good, now we come to the essentials, namely our shaving, trimming, and body groom results. The Pro's strength was particularly evident while shaving, where it also performed very well compared to other beard trimmers or electric shavers. You only need a few strokes to achieve a relatively smooth result. Of course, it does not quite come close to a classic wet shave, but in our opinion, the difference to a classical wet shave is not too great. On the other hand, trimming with the precision comb attachment is somewhat tedious. In our experience, classic beard trimmers are more effective in this regard. With the Pro, on the other hand, you need a few more strokes until the trimming result is right, but if you have a bit of patience, you'll be fine. The process is similar for body grooming. There are special attachments for trimming body hair. To illustrate the whole thing for you, let's take a look at this arm. In our opinion, arm hair comes closest to other body hair. With exceptions, of course, but it should be enough to get an impression. When it comes to trimming, you soon might realize that it doesn't work that quickly. As with the precision comb attachment, working with the skin protection attachment also requires several strokes to capture the hair. Unfortunately, this is not quite optimal and could be better in our opinion. Of course, you are not obliged to work with the body hair attachments, but they are included to reduce the risk of injury in sensitive areas. However, we also think that working without the attachment is relatively safe. Therefore, if you can, it's better to use the naked blade. You should only be a little careful or perhaps even use the skin protection attachment if you are working on particularly sensitive areas. Otherwise, the blade may prick the skin in wrinkly areas or similar. And as a reminder, you can find the link to the OneBlade Pro below the video in the description. And if the video was helpful to you, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. To ensure that the OneBlade Pro face and body can do its job for as long as possible, it is of course important to clean it regularly. This is quite easy to do here. After all, the device is waterproof, so cleaning it is a breeze. In the end, this means that you can simply rinse the appliance and the blade under running water. The appliance is then ready for use again. What is unfortunately not quite so convenient is the fact that the blades are generally subject to wear and tear. Assuming two shaves per week, the blades last up to four months. Then new ones have to be purchased, which of course involves running costs. That's a bit of a shame. As far as the scope of delivery is concerned, however, the QP6650 is a little more accommodating. It comes with two blades, which should give you peace of mind for a little while. It also comes with the precision comb attachment, a three millimeters comb attachment for the body, a skin protection attachment for sensitive areas, and a protective cap for the blades. Apart from this, there is also a high-quality travel case, a stand with charging function, and of course, the power adapter. All in all, the accessories supplied are coherent and match the functionality of the device. Let's come to the conclusion. With the one-blade face and body QP6650, you get a jack-of-all-trades that is designed for shaving and trimming facial and body hair. Admittedly, trimming with the precision comb attachment can't really keep up compared to some beard trimmers we've reviewed. However, when it comes to shaving with the naked blade, the Pro came up with pretty good results. Even compared to some electric shavers, it is one step ahead. The shaving result comes very close to a classic wet shave and the device is also comfortable to use. The Pro also offers a very good battery performance. If you then factor in the price, the QP6650 stands out as an affordable all-rounder that can hold its own in the market of shaving products despite its somewhat different conceptual orientation. All right, I tested this one blade for you. If you're interested, take a look at the video description below. You can find all the links there. Otherwise, I'd be happy if you'd stay tuned. Our end card will provide a few interesting video suggestions for you.